Welcome to the Brain Signal Channel. I'm Eric Oakland with TrueScribe. And I'm Susan Weintank, AKA the Brain Lady. So in our last sketchbook yeah. on attractiveness, you talk a little bit about why um, some people are found to be attractive and while others are not. Right, and one of the things I talked about is symmetry. So I have a little experiment I wanna do. <laughs> okay. I okay. Thought, I thought we'd test your, the symmetry of your face. You know, people tell me I have, uh, I'm, I've got good symmetry, so I'm, uh, I'm Nobody's up for it. Nobody's ever said you have <laughs> no, good symmetry. No, no. All right, so what I want you to do right. is I'm going to have you do this. Hold this over one half of your face. All right. Okay. Now switch and hold it over the other side. And we're going to see how I fit. stack up. Yeah. Uh, whether Brad you're Pitt? symmetrical to Brad Pitt, yeah. <laughs> whether so, yeah. I think All Brad right. Pitt probably has a pretty symmetrical face. All right. So, yeah. We're, here we're going to take a look at. Um, there's Brad Pitt's symmetry. Yeah. Um, looking pretty good. Yeah. Um, this is a picture we found of Jennifer Lopez. Um, real good symmetry there. Yeah. Um, so, what the sketchbook said was that symmetry equals attractiveness. Right. Right. Um, now, the opposite's also true, is what we're, what we're right. saying as well. That, so People who have asymmetrical features. Right. So here's a picture of Danny DeVito. Great, funny guy, um, hilarious. But um, maybe not all that symmetrical. I mean, yeah. I mean, so which, you know. And then here's a picture of Zach Galifianakis. Um, aren't you glad I got to say that? I'm you? really <laughs> glad you said that and not me. Yeah. Um, and uh, still, I mean, each one of these uh, sides looks pretty good by themselves. I mean, it's Zach. He's funny. Again, you know, you look at him and you just laugh. But so maybe not that symmetrical. So maybe not attractive, but, uh, it, you know, but you still kind of uh, smile when you see it, right? Yeah. Um, so um, we've got some actors or celebrities, yeah. some of their symmetrical. You know, I, I have a theory. Okay, what's your theory? My theory, now, I, I don't have research behind this. I'd okay. love to do this research. All right, but so I uh, some of the, most of the stuff that we talk about has research has behind research, it. Has research, but this, She's going off the cuff. This is just a theory. My theory is that the actors and actresses that have the symmetrical faces and are therefore deemed attractive, they get the leading lady and leading man roles. Okay. And the actors that don't, like Danny DeVito, they get either... The funny, quirky roles or the villain, you know, bad right, guy roles. Right, right. Because you're not going to necessarily take them seriously as the lead if they're not symmetrical. That's my theory. Yeah, okay. One thing that does have research behind it is the fact that people who are more attractive have more success in life. Um, so get better jobs, have more friends. Are thought to be smarter even though they might not yeah, be. And yeah, and no, really yeah. pretty symmetrical people that aren't, aren't the smartest. But people will think they are. Right. Yeah. Okay. Now, you know, on that note, I hear that Brad Pitt, who we showed uh, earlier, yeah. um, also has one of the highest golden ratio scores. Oh, God. The golden ratio thing again. Okay. Okay. The golden ratio uh, is this myth that has been going around for a long time, and people use it for all kinds of things. And the idea is that if you have certain ratio of, you know, your eyes to your nose and the space between okay. your forehead, then that makes you more attractive, and the research shows that's not true. So you say, like, ratios are good for ratios symmetry. Ratios are good, right. Well, I mean, if you measure symmetry, you'd find certain ratios, but it's not this particular golden ratio that makes right. it work. Yeah. Okay, okay. So that myth, it's just a myth. It's not That's a right. real thing. That's All right. right. So I wanted to try the other experiment from the attractiveness video. Now, you did the, the symmetry experiment on me. Yeah. Um, see if I have symmetrical holding up the, the board. Yeah. I want to try the pheromone experiment on you. So, <laughs> I uh, brought one of my uh, very smelly gym shirts. No, I am not smelling your gym shirt. Okay. If you enjoy our videos, like and subscribe to our channel. And if you haven't seen the attractiveness sketchbook, you can uh, click on here and uh, watch it now. Um, if you have any thoughts or uh, um, have an opinion on symmetry or pheromones, smells, um, please uh, share those with us in the comments below.